it's everybody say this, and I, but I, it's not just because everybody say this. <laughs> It, uh, I also feel, of course, I cannot, it's hard to explain what gonna, what's going to be new, what's going to be different. But uh, I think, like Nacho said, it's something inside what you cannot explain what's changed. It's your body change, your mind change, your feelings change. And um, uh, I think it's another, probably, you open another way of... Uh, thinking of living or feeling. And, uh, let's see. <laughs> of course it takes time because uh, the, the comeback on, uh, on stage is um, after a long break, after the giving birth, it's, uh, uh, it's something. It's <laughs> but uh, I'm ready to go same. through it. You yes. are the same, maybe they see you class and you didn't. <laughs> so, in a yeah. few months you got in shape, back in yeah. shape. So, uh, yeah. Some girls are two years ago, two years yeah. away. Yeah. You, you're back in one year. So yeah, I think when it takes fast. too long, it's, it's also difficult. Work, no? yes. Better to come back early. Maybe. I think too early also bad because there is a lot of to do with, uh, not just with shape, but with the hormones and yes. all the baby feels the uh, body, uh, body feels different, but also when it's too long, then um, I think we cannot stay too long from our <laughs> profession. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In der Zeit äh, der Schwangerschaft und der Absenz sozusagen vom Studio äh, hattest du ja jetzt mal mehr Zeit. Was hast du denn da gemacht? Du bist ja letztendlich in all den Jahren deiner Karriere, die ja so rasant äh, gestartet ist, auch zu einer Marke geworden, zu einem Brand. Hast du Ideen, dass du das selber auch nutzen kannst? Als Freelancer muss man ja auch äh, marketingmäßig äh, denken. Was äh, kann man tun, um in die Zukunft zu, ja, zu investieren letztendlich und auch den Namen Polina Semjolova dann ähm, weiter zu etablieren? Ja, yeah, I'm the, uh, the person from my uh, somehow character and from my being. I'm not so... Uh, I don't like this name of bread, and uh, I don't like to <laughs> sell uh, my name, and I don't like to put my name on uh, some. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 difficult for me, but I just uh, saw through the years how um, how many uh, little uh, students, girls around, and when they they want to have something from them, they're so happy when you can uh, share with them something or give them something. They ask ponchos. They ask. Uh, I don't know, to anything, or some information, some pictures, and I find it sweet because I was the same when I was small, like yesterday, I remember, I was the same. And uh, that's why uh, through the years I was thinking, what can I do, what can I start from, and especially in the pregnancy I had a bit more time, that's why I thought, okay, the, as a beginning we can produce some try, a little t-shirt, just a, as a try, with um, some Uh, message from me, which I can uh, pass <laughs> with this T-shirt to a little uh, fans, uh, girls and students. That's why on the T-shirt there's a little flower, which um, also means uh, means something. It's a, it was a present from my uh, very dear friends, which has a, and a friend which plant uh, a new flower. So, and they was thinking, how oh, should we name uh, this flower? And uh, my friends, they said, oh, why don't you um, name it Paulina? Is <laughs> this a rose? This is like, yeah. it's not a rose, it's, um, uh, I don't know how to describe it, it's, uh, but you will see it on the t-shirt. So, <laughs> we decided to put it on one side, something, the, The, the shadow, let's say, it's not exactly this flower, but the shadow of this flower, and then a little message on the hand, maybe, which can, uh, that the girls in the school can read it, and maybe it can a little bit help them to, to feel uh, sure, or better, or stronger, or something like this. Yeah, so we, that's the short story, and then in the future, we uh, might go uh, deeper, which is, uh, I always 
you know, as a dancer, we always have a cold shoes, a cold feet. <laughs> and we always look for someone walking in sports shoes, some people walking in these booties, which uh, uh, is another way. So some people, like me, used to buy the warm shoes on the Christmas market <laughs> because I like uh, the texture. And, uh, yeah, and that's why I got the idea. Why don't I um, produce something uh, from my opinion, which will be... Uh, uh, keeping dancers' feet warm. <laughs>